each night, one world-class chef must make it past not one, not two, but all three of my titans if they want to take home $25,000 in cold, hard cash. Think I'm hard to beat? Wait till you get a taste of my triple threat. Okay, Titans, you guys ready for another culinary clash? Ready. I can't be beat. Over the course of his career, he's opened over 25 restaurants. He's worked under Charlie Palmer, my good friend Michael Simon. I know it is. Before going into business for himself. I can't be broken. He's a James Beard Award winner, and he's currently the executive chef of Adorn in Chicago. You guys know who it is? Yes, chef. It takes tenacity to beat these Titans, and I'm not gonna bring in somebody that the Titans could just lap the kitchen with. It's not happening. Password? Gazpacho. Ooh, you got it. Tonight you'll be cooking against Chef Jonathan Sawyer. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Chef. What's up, Chef? <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> For round one, the ingredients are? Steven? Oysters and horseradish. Okay. 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 You guys have 40 minutes on the clock. Let's go. Let's go, Tiffany. Oh, shit. I'm running too much. So for my first dish, I'm making a raw oyster with a tomato water and horseradish mignonette. The mignonette really is a little bit of vinegar, some onion, and really from that, it's just your playground. Second. I'm gonna make a really lightly poached oyster with a little trout caviar, velouté, and some chives. Velouté is a cream sauce, so I just want the broth of the clam, smoked turkey, and a little water, get that pressure cooked so that I can have a really strong base to start with. I'm making a speakeasy-inspired raw bar with horseradish apple mignonette. All right. For my second dish, I want to fry the oysters to seal in their delicious salty flavor. I'm marinating the oysters with some fresh horseradish root and Thai chilies. Next, it's time to shuck all of the oysters. How's your oyster shucking these days? Chef, it's going uh, above <laughs> average, below perfect. I like it, I like it. It's just oysters and horseradish, that's all I gave you. But you had to get complicated. 90 seconds, guys. That means I need to be plating. First, I put the mignonette down, so then I drop one clam, two oysters, and one prawn. We got it. You got it, Chef? You good? I don't know. Chef. I don't know either. I can't with this. And for the fried oysters, I start with the tartar sauce, the fried oyster, a little bit of horseradish over that. I put my soup in, add the slow poached oyster on the top, and then the chives. You got this, Tiffany. She's shaking. We have 10 seconds. Woo! There we go. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, everybody, stop your cooking. I'd like to introduce you all to your judge tonight. <sighs> this culinary powerhouse has received the highest honor of Outstanding Chef from the James Beard Foundation. Please welcome chef, restaurateur, author, Nancy Silverton. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Great. Let's start with Chef A. So the first dish is a cornmeal crusted fried oyster with a horseradish tartar sauce. Let's move on to dish number two. It's a raw bar with clams, oysters, and prawns and a horseradish apple mignonette. I want more horseradish, but I'd like the apple. It's bright. Okay, let's move on to Chef B. Steven? Okay, dish number one is a raw oyster with a horseradish and tomato water mignonette. Okay. Dish two. It's a soft poached oyster with a velouté and um, trout caviar. So do you feel like you're ready to score these dishes? I think I am. Here you go. In the first round, you can score up to 10 points. Your dishes received a total of six points. All right. Okay, Tiffany, your dishes received a total of eight points. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. God, did y'all see me sweating? Yes, you did sweat. Round two, I'm gonna give you two ingredients to create two dishes using... Filet mignon and blue cheese. Michael, Jonathan, you both have 40 minutes to make two dishes. You ready? Ready. Set, go. Let's go! go. I'm making a peppercorn crusted steak with broccoli rabe and blue cheese brulee. For my second dish, I'm making beef carpaccio. 
Carpaccio is a seared rare or raw beef sliced thin. We just want to build some caramelization and crust on the outside and then freeze it almost raw. For my first dish, I'm making blackened meat and potatoes. For my second dish, I have a wedge salad with beef carpaccio, blue cheese dressing, and blue cheese snow. First thing I'm doing is starting on my blackened uh, meat and potatoes dish. Cognac. This is going to go with the steak and brulee blue cheese. The four footer. <laughs> <laughs> got it. 10 oh. seconds. You got time. 10, 10. 10, 10. Nine. No. Don't throw it, chef. Don't throw Five, it. Jesus. Four, four. Three. Can you come off? Two. Can you come off? One. All right. Woo! Oh, my God. Let's start with Chef A. Dish number one is a wedge salad with beef carpaccio, blue cheese dressing, and blue cheese snow. Let's move on to the second dish. This is blackened meat and potatoes, blue cheese butter, and soy mustard. Let's move on to Chef B. Dish number one is a peppercorn crusted steak with brulee blue cheese and broccoli rabe. Okay, this is a lot of blue cheese, I have to say. That's a lot of cheese. Okay. Let's move on. Dish number two is a carpaccio with blue cheese, parsley, and lemon. Okay, so Michael, your dishes received a total of seven points. Jonathan, your dishes received five points. A five? Hmm. Do you eat the food that I cooked? All right, Jonathan. Please tell us what the ingredients are for round three. Chicken eggs, black truffles. What? Yes. Wow. Okay, since this is worth double the points, 20, I'm gonna give you 45 minutes to cook one dish with these beautiful chicken eggs and these gorgeous black truffles. Cook like this, $25,000 on the line. Ready, go. Jonathan, what's going on with you? I'm making pasta. Okay, so that's that's wow. a good idea. Yeah. I'm making pasta alla chitarra, one of the most difficult fresh egg pastas to make. It's like 15 more grams of water with farm egg, black truffle brodo, and black truffle breadcrumbs. There we go. I'm making a soft egg, a truffle cheesy whipped potatoes, a mushroom truffle onion marsala sauce, and some crispy potatoes. Five minutes to go, you guys. Go. Cool. Making pasta for Nancy Silverton is like singing Johnny Cash for Johnny Cash, but I'm confident in my recipe. Looking good, Brooke, looking good. If that egg is cooked perfectly, that'll compete with any perfectly cooked pasta. It's always cooked perfectly. Eggs are thing. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Great job. Uh, Chef A. So this dish is pasta a la chitarra with farm egg, black truffle brodo, black truffle breadcrumbs, and parmigiano reggiano. You know, people always say, well, I'm never going to make pasta for Nancy because she has these restaurants that yeah, serve that, a lot of pasta. Well, I'm so, sure, yeah, you come up against that, I'm sure. But why not? And I love pasta. And to do that in a challenge is really commendable, I got to say. Oh, wow. So this dish is a soft egg with cheese and truffle potatoes, onion, mushroom, and marsala sauce, a shaved truffle, and crispy potatoes on top. Another perfectly cooked egg. As it stands now, Jonathan has 11 points. The Titans have 15. Jonathan, I really loved how you honored the egg and how you honored the truffle. You left little to hide behind, so if you didn't do a great job, it would have been a failure, and it wasn't. It was a great dish. Thank you. I gave your dish. 15. Brooke, a lot going on, but it was also a great dish. Thank you. You packed so much flavor into that bowl. I gave your dish a 15 as well. <laughs> well, nice touch. Appreciate it. So Jonathan, I'm sorry, but this means that the Titans have uh, managed to block you from the $25,000. You didn't win tonight, but you really cooked so incredibly well. Thank you. The competition's over, and I left it all out there. This didn't go the way I wanted it to, but I'm proud of everything I did today, and maybe someday I'll get another chance. Oof. All right, Titans, cocktail time. Let's do it. Thank goodness. Shots for everybody. <laughs>